Welcome everybody, we are going to get straight into it because I'm mad again, mad. So, for some reason, I just saw the, um, well I didn't watch the um, Xbox showcase, I watched um, the Act Man and I watched his live stream of it, and I didn't realize they did this. They are actually presenting three new Xbox consoles, so rather than rather than actually making a whole new console which i don't know the lifespan of them i know there's usually the first edition of it and then there's like a secondary pro edition that usually comes out after a few years but my thing is after all the things i've heard about xbox not even being able to play 60 frames per second they come out with this and the reason why i'm mad about it is because when i was watching this i'm just over here like so Let's see, Xbox, Xbox, where is it? Series X and S, the entire lifespan sales as of February is 27 million units. From my understanding, as of this live stream that they had, I think yesterday, yeah, yesterday, he said there's over 100 million people who play monthly on Xbox. So you're telling me now, See, that's Xbox, that's 360, that's Xbox One, Xbox Series and X. So someone is lying. Someone is lying. Or Steam is using the other, like, you know, 75, the other 75 people. 75 million people. Why? And the reason why I'm mad about this is because for almost two years, it was hard to get your hands on these originally and the PlayStation 5. But now you're telling us, oh, we have a new edition. But the biggest problem I hate is that there are already two editions that are all digital. <clears throat> and as I stated in my previous videos, which I'll post somewhere over there, I posted another thing about Ubisoft saying that they're not, that you will not own, you will not own your own, uh, you will not own your games, which is funny because in the live stream they even mention the lady mentions um it might actually be Rowan Sones mentions that this is a better place for preservation of video games but the crew got immediately taken off and it is now completely blacklisted it is almost impossible to find you can't get it and it was also taken off from people who already bought it so they're lying to your face and then they're also coming out with a new generation telling you, oh, it's all good, buy a new one. Half the games that they presented, no offense, half the people don't care about, and the other half aren't even going to play. I have 84 video games on my console, and I probably have another... If I really wanted to get every disc I haven't downloaded again, I probably have another... Especially if it's digital and I own it, there's probably another 10, 15 games I could get. I do not have time for all these games that are half half baked, half trash, and then ones that we don't even need. Now, the funny thing about it is, let me see if this even plays. Oh. That's not bad. Dude. <laughs> You know why they do that? Because they know half the games are like a hundred gigabytes and you cannot play them unless they're on SSD inside that thing or on the expansion card so that you have to get this in order or you have to buy or you have to buy the expansion card which is like 250 bucks which pays out the rest of the um, problems they have monetization wise essentially saying they're doing this so they can get their money back for all those games they don't make money off of because that's a lot of games give me a second Here's the funny thing about that. Where is it? This one used to is the same thing, 
but it's all digital, which means technically speaking, you removed right around here the actual disk drive. You could put, see it's one terabyte, you could have put a whole new motherfucking terabyte system right there, plugged it in, and just been like, boom, there we go. But here's the thing, here's the thing. This one, the one that I would get if I'm going to, two terabyte SSD, Galaxy Black, blah, blah, blah. Where is it? It is $600. $100 more than the original one. And it says right here, where is it? Where was it? Where is it? God damn it. I looked at it. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Maybe it's on a different one. Enjoy visually stunning and... Oh my god, look at there. They messed up grammatically. Wow. Congratulations, kids. Uh, they didn't put a space there. Well, it's a simple editing check. Sorry. I'm just getting mad about this because it's so... There it is. And gameplay up to 120 frames per second. So, you want to know why that's a lie? Half the games now on the most power on the world's most powerful gaming console now can barely play 60. The games coming out, I'm warning you guys, I'm warning you right now, all of this is a lie. Half the not even half, 90% of the games coming out can't even play at a good 60 frames per second without the other half of the game being torn to shit because of graphical errors or just bugs, glitches, something. Or half the game content just doesn't exist. You tell me why they bring this out at 349. This, it says 120 with one terabyte, but, but, but the S the digital requires more space. It, it requires more space. So one terabyte, no offense, doesn't mean shit if, if you have seven games that are 120 gigabytes each. That's it. So you then have to buy the expansion card, which is like another 200 bucks. So no matter what happens, they get their money back. And everything's going to Game Pass. So either you're going to be a new beta tester you're going to be a beta tester for all the games because now it is a very risky maneuver to put things on game pass but i also know that they're going to bump up that price again and i'm kind of mad about that because i know that's what's going to happen and i don't want that to happen again i already have and i bought this like five months ago a xbox series x but the previous technical generation why is it we are going the biggest thing about it is that they said this is for gaming preservation i have at least 60 discs that i have to use for half the games i have i'm also preserving a lot of my games i'm preserving a lot of mine i am grabbing the disc versions just in case they try to pull some bullshit i am letting you guys know it is going to get to a point where the, the special edition is just, they're going to just be like, oh, well, sorry, your disk drive doesn't work anymore. Um, we're going to make an update for that. It just cancels out. Everything's digital. So when you buy it, you have to use the terms of service that say you do not own it. You just rent it. Sony did this. Xbox has done it. The crew is missing. There are a lot of games. Sony has done it to a few games. I don't know which ones. I know they have, though. And it's funny because Microsoft, like I said, Xbox Series X is the lowest I think they've ever done because lifetime for now, these are all more time. Funny enough, the Xbox just mm, funny. The Xbox Series X did better than the Xbox, but the 360 is the greatest for some reason, easily almost 20 million more than the Xbox One. It has more time, yes, but you would think the Xbox One would still even have more due to time periods. No. And yes, the Xbox Series X has had less time. But they've had, they still had just barely a few more than the original Xbox. So, 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 and remember, the Xbox has been out longer. Now, they're still doing great because they've made more, but that isn't good 
for the time frame because if xbox the original has 24 million out of what 15 17 years almost almost 20 and xbox is steadily staying at 27 million over the span of two years it's not a good look because yes they got more in a shorter amount of time but at the same time because this is more powerful better they should have a lot more i the, the math is weird the math ain't math and i i know but it's just it bugs me because it's like why are these so close together but then all of a sudden the xbox 360 is just god freaking it actually shows you why it shows you the xbox 360 was one of the greatest generations so hands down greatest generation there was funny enough playstation where is the playstation 5 uh what is it 7.1 ah i don't want to do the math here I won't show me total, but what? Four, five, three, six, seven, six, seven, three, two, two, three, two. two. What? About. I can't remember. I can't remember. It was like what? Probably about 20 something? I don't know. They won't let me. Sony's PlayStation line of gaming consoles ranks as one of the most successful console brands of all time. Five of its products rank among the top 10 highest selling consoles in history. The PS4 ranks fourth, generating an additional 113 million unit sales. That is almost double, well, no, PS4, so Xbox One. PS4 to Xbox One, and, X and essentially with the combination of Xbox Series. They made almost 30 million more units sold than the Xbox in the last two generations with just one of their generations. That's not good. It's Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm trying to figure out what is the um. I, I want to know the PlayStation 5. See that? Why are they like this? Why are they like this? They won't tell you the actual whatever. Regardless, I don't know how to work it. I was gonna look at this. But see, my whole point is that it's just pre-orders, market availability, and regional pricing coming soon. Wow. Why are they essentially reselling the console right now that essentially did the worst ever, but also at a time where we've kind of seen gaming um, studios and games themselves not being able to use it? The Xbox and the PlayStation essentially are just console PCs, are just bodies of smaller PCs. That is what they are at this point. And I'll admit it, I still use the Xbox Series X, but if I put any game on my computer with a 3060, um, RTX 3060, that's it. I wouldn't need the Xbox, but I have too many games that I've bought on it, so I'm not transferring it over. But again, they talk about 120 FPS, lightning fast load times, quick resume, console players. But do you know what's funny about that? It goes to Xbox Game Pass, which can be put onto the computer on a PC. It can go straight to your computer, to a PC, so your console sales mean nothing. Because a PC can already do. A, I've heard. I heard. I was talking to a guy at Best Buy. I was just talking to him, and he said he runs some games minimum 200 FPS. If he ever goes down to 120, he notices it. I'm like, God damn! I can. I don't see anything above. I probably have never seen anything above 80. So why is it? So you're telling me? Oh, we're now getting to 120. When your last console couldn't even touch 60 or barely scratch 60 and we're talking scratching it by almost making your freaking xbox burn to the ground 
because it just couldn't work. And also the games aren't optimized anyway, so it's like, why even try? Half of these games don't even work. That's the biggest problem. They don't even work half the time. Again, because it's such I I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to repeat it, but it's just such lies to your face. And they want you to pay it again. Unless you go to, uh, what is it? GameStop. Send in your old one. And then just, what? And then do what? Get your new one and, and pay 100 bucks? Which, honestly, I might do. Only because that does look cool as shit. And I need the two terabytes. But again. See, they want you to go to a wide range of options. Customize controllers. Which is more money. More money. Stay tuned for more accessory. Ugh. Black Ops is coming. Black Ops. Avowed looks good. Indiana Jones. Eh? Hundreds of high quality games. Starfield. Forza Motorsports. Diablo 4. All shit. Or, well, Forza was actually good, but, or, but the other two. Mm, questionable. I'm sorry, but that that's my rant for the day because it's just gone to that point of monetization. They're going to boost up Game Pass and that's going to piss me off. And it's just... We all know Xbox lost this gaming battle. If PlayStation does this as well, though, it will be interesting to watch because I know they're kind of messing up some things too. It just... Why? Why are we getting to this point of just... They're trying so hard, but they're going to kill themselves doing it. They're lost. They have lost so much money that they're going to squeeze it out of you. But they're going to hurt themselves doing it. It is what it is. I hope you all have fun. I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.